been a while since we've seen Natty to continue her quest line. Uh huh. Time you learned the transformation spell. Do do, After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. Interesting. And we should see if that one is prerequisites first. That's one that we can do as we do another mission. Collect the field guide page in the underground harbor. Uh, collect it from the book in the library. Okay. Those aren't too bad. As long as it tells us where to go, we're good. If it's like, no, find it on your own. I'd be like, okay, well, uh, goodbye. <laughs> off off to Game Facts I go. Well, this is on the way to uh, Natty, so... Getting that last spell? It's probably a good idea. Spider lair down there. No, thank you. The less spiders we deal with, the better. Kind of had my fell for a game, honestly. Oh, is that a murder of crows I see? Where's that? Well, I was just flying there. Ah, see okay. Them? Just a, in the air. A group of crows, bro. Right. Well, you gotta use the proper name, because it's so cool. Now, the question is, is that inside the building? We're gonna have to find our way in through the building? It looks like it. It says the underground harbor, so I doubt it. Oh, yeah, look at this. You can't enter while mounted. Dang good thing we can swim. I wonder if there's aquatic mounts. Mounts for being in the water. There's one for the land. I know that much. Ooh. Very interesting. Rebellion. Oh, I heard a loud ding. As did I. So this is the other. I'm going to guess it's going to be on one of the docks in the middle here. Balls. Revenue. Nothing was on the other side. Ah. Uh -huh. I am blind. Eh, depth perception with a semi transparent object. It makes sense. Revenue. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard, or courtyard, say it properly, uh, is the landing for boats delivering first-year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Oh, so this is where Harry and Co. would have ended up. Because I remember they them taking a boat at one point in uh, the first movie there. So wait, would that mean that they'd have to transport, like... You know, a hundred students, and then they have to go in like twenty at a time in the elevator. Maybe so. The logistics of that bother me. Don't worry about it. Whenever something that troubles your brain rears its ugly head, cast it aside. Just don't think about it. That's all you do. Is if if you're ever having issues, just don't think about it. Just forget. Just don't think. <sighs> Let me out this bitch. Oh, I can't. Oof. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. A little bit of dragon PTSD, though. It's 
too quiet at night. I mean, I get it. It's the ambiance, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, it just makes me feel like something's going to jump out at me. Rebellion. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Yes. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh... She's like, uh, I ate every copy book. of that book. Yum! So you, you took it out. You mean, now I that? ate them all. Everyone. You yum, yum. You humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Okay, quiz. you dear Some child. Some bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. Oh None God, the, the lore! Try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. I get it. Sure, You're a Ravenclaw. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. <sighs> that could be fun. A quiz sounds like fun. I like how both Please. options are yes, Just but one is oh, this and sounds great, and oh my God, fine, let's do this. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Uh, it was the Golden Snidget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by Oh my god. Did you invent Sadly, Wikipedia or something later? Calm Snidget. down. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felis Felicis. That's alcohol, I know this one. Felix Felicis. Well done. Cut me off. Since Give it the correct answer and everything. Lucky, <laughs> Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. You know what it actually the does in this game? Brothers what? Which it reveals art. big chests on the overworld. That's pretty good. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand. According to Beedle Stone, the Bard. The oh, the thank Bard. you. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Uh, that would be the quaffle. The quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Uh, true. True. Actually, the answer was false. While I was gonna say, because Hermione doesn't turn into a cat, she turns into a cat-like woman. Yeah, that's what threw me off. Well, That's what I was thinking. I'm I like, does that count? On long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. You know, honestly, they should have just named this character like Harry Potter questions. fan. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Oh, uh... The International Confederation of Wizards. No, that's incorrect. Fuck. The answer was the Wizards Council. Wow, you're really Council fucking stupid, aren't you? In I bet you haven't even read the indices the to all of the official of books. Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? Uh, pfft. I'm gonna say the Viper Tooth, yeah. The Peruvian Viper Tooth. Brilliant. Because it's Though like a viper, it's small. It's the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length. It is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Yeah. Hengist of Woodcroft. That's right! It is believed that Hengist used the three broomsticks in as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? We're doing how many of these? Not entirely sure. A demi guys. Yes! While the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. Oh, what it's Eddie the Mean Old Yeti from the Donkey Kong cartoon. Eddie spell to repair a life fold. Um, the Patronus charm? No, that's for... The stunning spell. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. Fuck! The only known survivor I was gonna say, that's normally for Dementors, but... ...was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? Uh, Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. Gamp. That's it! 
One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormiens Nunquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Birdo. I know this one. The Basilisk? The Basilisk. That's incorrect. Never mind. The correct answer was the Rune's Paw. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the Rune's Paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. All right, Where so which one's the urethra? Christ. Located? America. Although, I guess you want a specific one, it would be Mount Greylock. Mount Greylock. Well done! The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Amortensia. Amortensia. That's the answer. A more, you know, different root to every for person, love. According to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or... <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. Okay, I'm kind of intrigued Give now. Yeah, Wonderful. what are we going to get into? Are we going to get into the size Emmerich of, like, characters in seams? Uh, Emmerich the Evil. Sir Agravain. Incorrect. Fuck, I should have gone with my first choice. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. If a chaser keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Fuck are these options? <laughs> these options? What are these not words? Stooging. The ha I was going to say haversacking. Yeah, because he has the sack still. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Uh, I'm gonna say, okay, no, hairy ears. I feel like that's what it's gonna be. Hairy ears. No, the answer was bad luck. <laughs> Ironic. There was something I heard about getting hairy ears. The effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. She won't get about these questions being hard. Uh, I'd go for the bottom one, because if it's Sosophorus. Mimbleus Mimbletonia. Correct. Never the mind, you got it. Well, this is the part that uh, Neville has. As a defensive mechanism when touched. The Pepper Up Potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? Bowman Wright. That's incorrect. Fuck. The answer was Limfrid of Stinchcombe. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would well, at least we're getting knowledge from these incorrect answers. The yeah, and at least it's not like, all right, try again. That would suck. What does elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? What do you think? His wand. Like, it's like passing the baton to the next wizard. His wand. Incorrect. Okay. The answer was a single slipper. The story was created by Beedle the Bard, but there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. The Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? Stop making up things. Uh, that sounds Amazonian. The Amazon Rainforest. No, the answer was North America. The part bird, part reptile is a distant relative of the Okami and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Uh, Sir Luckless. Sir Luckless. Correct! The three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. Don't say the that, that spoils the fact there's a twist. Is also known by what other name? Ooh, I might know this if it's based on the real one. Actually... Wait, if it's Loch Ness Monster as the biggest Kelpie, that'd be kind of cool, but... The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. Oh, the cool. I like that. ...has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. That's cool Who's lore. I like that. For magic? Uh, 
Ethelred the Ever Ready. No. Fuck. The first minister was Ulick Gamp. Oh, Gamp's it's always Gamp. Was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, oh, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you learned something regardless. Thank you for humoring me by participating. I had a splendid time. We better get a freaking trophy for this. <laughs> I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Us. Well, Revelio. at least we got some potions for being assaulted with a million words that we've never heard before. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. There were many questions, and we got like a few, right? For the first one, you got most of them. For the second round, you got a couple. And then that last round was honestly such obscure, random lore. Like, that's the type of lore that someone would actually be made fun of on Reddit for knowing. <laughs> like, that's how deep that lore is. Like, that's even when the fans are like, why, why do you know this? Oh my goodness. Like, what is a Snigglewamp during the third phase of the moon when it's waxing? Like, bitch, do I look like a fucking encyclopedia? Which of these three words, which you've never heard before, is actually these six words that you've never heard before? Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Oh. It was a book the whole time. Or was Settle the down. book an owl Settle the whole down. time? Oh. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it as i see in all of you tremendous witches and wizards every one of you especially the one in unique clothing but we, we shan't mention that name oh now you all know what to do can i transfigure my teacher to stop being such a nag yuck 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 Okay, she really hyped it up for it to just be a simple U shape. <laughs> hey. I'm alive! I'm born! Oh, is this what air tastes like? Oh, it burns! Beautifully done. Nice. Learn all spells. That's not all spells. Hmm, they do keep the, uh, the curses as optional, huh? Alright, transforms objects and enemies into alternate forms, whether puzzle solutions or harmless knickknacks. Very cool. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly... Excelling in your schoolwork this year. Have we been doing schoolwork? <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'm not certain I needed all the extra assignments. And I'm certain you would not have been as successful without them. Too sure. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Oh, we also did stuff with dragons and stuff, but yeah, you're being plants. An accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished. Oh. In light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to an ex-aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig? I can't begin to imagine what that was about. Oh boy, you got eyes everywhere. Um, no, not at all. I was. Yeah, um, we're gonna be on really Fig's side. In He's our bro. The aura program. I saw Professor Sharp's aura badge and was intrigued. I see. 
I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember... That Is that how you pronounce it? Is it penchant? Oh my goodness, I've father. always said penchant. Same. In no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Oh, oh, and please put back on your actual school uniform. No. It's no. <laughs> we gotta be cool. I die. I live. I die again. It feels nothing. Like, was that supposed to hurt me? Come on. Just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet Yo, it's your boy Lodgar. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Oh, frick, we do have that one student who speaks gobbledygook. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. Oh. I was only testing a new recipe in a, mostly, empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. A fire, Gareth. If you're setting things on fire, then perhaps you ought to rethink your choices. That's exactly what Aunt Matilda said. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. I swear to God, you cannot copyright the name as better than butterbeer. You can't. It doesn't work that way. No. Meow. Oh, Kitty, you're just a little bit too long for your own good. Was that the cat? Jesus. <laughs> the cat's just like, yes. <laughs> okay, we will finally go and see Natty. Uh, yeah, here we go. Might as well just warp out of here. Oh no, we can actually fly in the courtyard. Good. I was gonna. I thought that this would count as inside. Doesn't seem like it does. Very nice. I just want to see more of the uh, countryside while it's all snowed on and whatnot. You know, we sometimes get so much snow on these, like, uh, pine trees that they're just completely covered. And when that happens, uh, we call them snow ghosts because they look like big, tall spires of mass. Is that legit or are you pulling my leg? No, that's 100% that's real. Is we call them Mr. snow Pickles, ghosts when we go skiing. I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Now, is that Canada or China? That is Canada. Um, I would not be able to tell you much about China. I mean, I've only been here for less than a year. <laughs> the amount I've picked up, very minimal. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. Like just five minutes ago, we were like, tra la la la, doing magic in the classroom, and now it's my husband's dead! Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully, he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow. when my husband. <laughs> Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. Okay. He never wanders far. I wish I had a forest hideout. Carlo doing something to his father. The only thing stopping uh, you from that is you. I'm afraid to leave. Uh, the only thing stopping me home. is the many laws right now in a country, you know, far away. You know. I know, I know. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. Yeah, that'd do it. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... Whoa, what the fuck was, was that? 
understood it. I saw that, but it's okay. Any glitches we see are just nefarious wizard traps. We'll find we'll your find son. Your I don't son. give a fuck about Harlow. He's going down. What am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickel. We will bring Achi home. Lead the way. Take us to the cool little forest hideaway. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickel. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Launch a transformed enemy with Depulso. That's not transformed, you cursed them. That's fine. It's not about them. We said no spiders, so we kept them away. And now we're leaving. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Natty, are you hearing the show? Could provide all the <laughs> yeah, Natty, do you hear the horrible human? screams? We oh, maybe it's just one of these sheep nearby. No, wait, it's goats that scream. Oh, uh, wow. Oh. This must be little. That's rad. Hideout. That Mrs. Bickel mentioned. Archie! Archie Bickel! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out. Revelio! Well, we Revelioed and it didn't tell us anything. There! Oh. Footprints. Never mind. Went this way. Okay, you have much better eyes than I do. I thought we would have found Archie by now. It's been like two I minutes. <laughs> keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. I'm glad you know where we're going because we no longer can see the magic footprints. She sees them in her mind's eye. Oh, I've just been following you. Oh, well, we've been following you. <laughs> Rebellion. Prepare for a fight. Sorry. Dueling feats torture a burning enemy. <laughs> That's horrible. Well, if you insist. Oh. She wasn't happy that you used it. She didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. It's okay, she's already over it. We should look around. Revelio. Interesting. Well, at least that's something. I know people were saying, like, oh man, they don't even, you know, react to the spells, but I mean, I, at least your partners do, and I appreciate that. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Do we need to wait for her to finish talking and then press it? <laughs> Rebellion. Actually went this way. Yeah, here we go. I have a bad feeling. No, don't get too this. far from her. You know what the game does when you get away from the quest actually. person. Oh. It puts you in the death zone. Saw. This area looks real nice during the winter. It's very like, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that's what a nice winter walk looks like. At least not in any way I can imagine. Big owl flying away. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. wonder if owls count as magical creatures for you to Luigi's Mansion up. I don't think so, so about what? Him here. This is not good, oh, he did a little they dance. <laughs> He's like, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that innocent, I'm afraid. Oh, it's a fast draw. Hey, what's up? 
Goodbye. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? Well, that's a bit of character building, huh? I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I don't know if I'd say being able to see beasts that mark you as someone who has witnessed death as a comforting thing, but... But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Fair enough. I'm gonna say, it'd be very funny for her to be like, what beautiful creatures, and then you suck one of them up in your bags right in front of her. I understand. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as Levitate I a soldier to disrupt their expulsion the cast. There can be no mistakes. Well, there's a mistake. <laughs> Okay, so exploding them as a barrel doesn't immediately kill them, which is what I kind of thought. Ooh, we only need two more, two more dark wizard deaths, and then we have the achievement for slaughtering a hundred of them. Actually, we should probably check after this some of our uh, missions, because I'm sure we'll get it after this. It, it is just a I make you explode spell. Lol. Get barrel, bro. That's almost even good just to get them to stop attacking so that then you can let some of your cooldowns come back. Little patience for such cruise. Oh, My he wand. unbarreled. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> do that again, and I'll squash you like the insect you are. Experience. You're complicit now. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Yeah, let's see what we get for that uh, 100 kills. I'm curious, because it's got to be a good one. You think so, but here we are. Uh, challenges. Top of the class cloak. That's not bad looking. Combat. Oh, it's just a one of these. I wanted something cool to wear. Ah, uh, well, we did get something new, so... That should be a look, not a... not an equipable. A uh, coat. It's not bad. But it's not the best. You're right, you're right. It's not it's not what we want though. Oh hey, it's this one kind of again. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Well, at least it has a different layout. Jesus. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have run? We decide what to do. <laughs> Stealth in quotation marks. Did you hear lightning inside? It's like, no, that's probably just Marv on the toilet. You know how he gets when he has his beans on toast. <clears throat> <laughs> like the big old boss HP there. Mm. 
I don't think we'll be able to do it to the boss. We'll see. Are you serious? Huh. That's a big surprise. I kind of appreciate the fact that they're treating it, you know, realistically. So anyway, uh, guys with uh, health bars are notable enemies. They are a specific type of enemy that uh, have a specific challenge associated with them. Hmm, I wonder if that counted as defeating them the way we did it here. Bombarda. Oops, wrong one. Revelio. Oh, I'm just a small child. I sure hope someone rescues me. And it's like, sorry, kid, we gotta loot this place. Just a regular child. Just an innocent child. <laughs> God, someone did a thread recently about the origin of, you know, we're just normal men. <laughs> we're just innocent men. Right, they did, like, the origin of that, and it was, like, a story of how, like, one of the actors there was, like, super drunk, and when they got asked by the police, like, well, what are you lot doing? He's like, we're just innocent men. We're normal men. <laughs> it was... <laughs> And so that was like an in joke, but when it was said on TV, of course, we just took it as like brilliance in motion. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if the ground floor is the way to go here. Yeah, this just looks like perhaps a area for items. I mean, it looks like there's a connected room on the mini map there, if that is what I'm looking at. Unless I think it's just one big, yeah, one floor, so it's the top floor counts too. Try to find you, Archie, but this place is ridiculous. Bombarda. Can't blow that up, I'm guessing? No. Darn it. What are you two doing up there? I'm just hearing explosions. Please be quick, they're releasing the vipers! <laughs> oh, there we go. Down the stairs there, probably. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Me mum? I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Paltry level one lock. I laugh at you. You'd think they would at this point invest in slightly better locks than simple level one ones, but... Mm. I mean, you could have, like, lock spells that can't be uh, cured by Alohomora. Sorry, I kind of prefer the cage now. I've grown accustomed to it. It's comfortable. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. You know, not to take away you from the, away the drama of the scene, but if you were to ask me what a small Victorian Thank child you. looked like... <laughs> All he needs is, like, a baguette to dance around with. We know a safe way back. I know exactly what you're talking about as well as the funniest thing. I record. know you do. <laughs> well, can't bring your husband back, but we found your son, so... Oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, Mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Raid. Mr. Filbert. Oh, not Mr. Mr. Filbert. I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. That voice does not match how tall that child is. No, and it's actually kind of clearly an adult woman doing the voice. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. Yeah, the but did he have he every spell minus two? He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. 
I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. So good. She walked that way and then she went, oh shoot, wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, this is really embarrassing. I have to pass by you even though I already said goodbye. I hate this. Yeah, yeah, it's the worst. Alright, what other quests we got here? So, gobbledygook. Well, well, well. I think I already know where this is. Might as well just clear some of these up. Yeah, these, these ones are like the sort of more generic world quests, whereas the white ones are our like companion quests, and then we got the, the big gold ones there for actual progress quests. In the Shadow of the Mine. That's the next uh, figure of one. The Tale of Roland Oaks. See, I went by this place a couple of times, but I was like, eh, I'll do this one on camera, so to speak. Makes sense. Sometimes you want to do something and show it off. That's why I'm kind of afraid to do some, like, open world playthroughs of games. Like, I'd be thinking about, dang, what do I want to show off versus what do I think is fine for me to chill with? Which is why I'm absolutely not doing stuff on Tears of the Kingdom. That is for me to chill out with. Just ahead. Be discreet. <laughs> be discreet as an explosion happens. Blow up a red barrel with Bombardo. Rock one. Ow. Was that your best? Yep, that goes through that. Oh, it's Cobbett. So brutal. Yeah, it seems like the uh, spell there Lol. for switching them around doesn't actually kill them, per se. You gotta actually destroy the barrel. Oh. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, that says nothing to me. <laughs> Looks like it's down the river from here. That's all we really got, got on the map from that. Not careful. <sighs> Damn you. I mean, considering the level of this area, I'm sure it's not anything too crazy. I know, but it's here and I want it. You were absolutely right, but I didn't listen. It's fine. I mean, there was the off chance we could have got, like, a super legendary, like, glowing gold Tron scarf. Could have happened, but... Okay. Uh, you said the river. Yeah, because it looked like you followed the river down to a gate. That's at least what I got from the, uh, from the map that we looked at briefly. Yeah, so I would, and it looked like it would be on your right side by like a big gate. Keep looking to your right there. Hehe, <laughs> we. And if push comes to shove, 
I will open up the map on the internet. <laughs> All right, open up your 3D map. I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> I'm looking at this here and I'm like, that looks like a pain in the butt. All right, so yeah, zoom in to about where you are. Okay, so you're going to go to, let's see here. It kind of goes, there's the river. So start from there all the way up to, it should be a little area to like the, okay, go up. Go up. Okay, you're going to go left here. Uh-huh. Left, keep going left. Oh, is that it? Keep going left. No, keep going left. Keep going left. It's like, yeah, so it's right by this teleport point. Yeah, like it's way far away. I mean, you could literally teleport there. <laughs> There's a teleport point right there, but... And it's kind of uh, in the middle of the teleport point and that other point in the middle there. Yeah, I think we, we took the wrong turn at one of the uh, the river there. I'm not known for my geographical expertise, all right? Like, I would have to be looking at this for quite a while to, like, manually check, you know, cross-reference one map area with the other. Yeah, so it should be like between the teleport point where you put the thing down and you're going to go kind of like a little bit towards the north there, somewhere around here. Well, there's a castle here. What do we have here? Yeah, it's you got to clear, clear through the camp here. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. A ladder. That's what I need. What's going on here? You won't stick me. I think I did, actually. Ooh, that log was freaking out. I've been here before. You're going to enter the gate to a dungeon here, and that's where we will find your boy, Rowan. Very good. Oh, we bonked it. I hate donking it. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. That's cool. Uh, kind of in the middle of something right now, though. Yeah, we're kind of slaying gobbos, and she's like, Oh, good. I hate those gobbos. I remember there was like a level lock. I could deal with it at the time. I mean, we have everything. At this point, nothing is out of our, you know, our power or our spell puzzles. We're good. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. You only have Ranrock to blame. Oh, buddy. Alohomora. Yeah, I didn't have Alohomora when I came in the first time. Steady, Tom. Looks like it was down left. Well, this is why having 16 pairs of eyes helps. I like how they just keep increasing the number. <laughs> we're gonna, like, by the end, we're gonna be like, yes, 48 eyes, some of which are on the inside. Interesting. Huh. 
Eh, whatever. Again, if this is level 20 stuff here, we're not, we don't need that. We're so much stronger than that. Oh. I like how just goblins just, when they're around, just chilling out with each other. What are they talking about? How much they freaking hate humans. I mean, I guess that's no different than us talking about how much we freaking hate goblins every time Gobbo is brought up. Be careful, men! He's styling on us! These guys are level 30 now. We're getting stronger. Oh no, just that guy was, I guess. A boiler door. How to open it? Like I said, I've already been here, so. It's a good thing that it keeps the puzzles and stuff, because that makes our life easier. I guess it's kind of one of the joys of an open world game, you know? Yeah. You can do the puzzles in places early. God, speaking of, like, I'm not to keep bringing it up, but as I'm getting ready for Tears of the Kingdom, because I'm really excited for it, I've been watching just a bunch of videos on, like, some of the intricacies of everything in Breath of the Wild, and just seeing stuff like, oh, you know, pressure switches in the game? No matter how heavy a pressure switch is, you can put a campfire on it, because campfires are the heaviest things in the game. So you can just solve every pressure switch puzzle with throwing down wood and setting it on fire. Nice. And just like stuff like that, I'm like, I love it. I love stupid stuff like that. See, I'd really like it if we could then get our ability, you know, after we've transfigured someone, to then yeet them around, like a regular item. Like, the screams of the damned as you rip them apart, it's a lot. Well, that looks to be our end point, so heading this way makes sense. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Oh. Perhaps now he can set himself free. If he's not already dead. And if not, hey, cool, we got a new, uh, equipable wand type. Alright, place our bets. Are we gonna find a big skeleton down there, or are we gonna find a living man? I would like to just find a normal man one of these times. Just an innocent man. <laughs> And the funny thing is, like, that's, like, a really British reference, but just because it's been shared around on the internet so much, like, even I know all about that. Yeah. That sounds like a voice, Hello? and not a skeleton Mr. one. Yes, I'm here. You open the little door, and it's just like a fucking papyrus, chattering skeleton that's been animated. <laughs> it's me! Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Oh, you found it! Pass it to me! Hurry! Before they come! I must get out! Hurry! My wand. Oh. Watch him just, like, warp out of here and he doesn't even have a model. <laughs> no, I can see him. Buddy, you walked a bit through that door. You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... I didn't expect him to look like this, I can You're tell you that stupid. much. I'd say he looks like the Monopoly Man, but you know there'd be someone in the comments who's like, I'm um, actually, the Monopoly Man never had a monocle. That is actually something that people have uh, thought up, but isn't real. What, where did the anger come from, Tano? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. I just saw an argument online recently where someone was getting mad at someone for drawing the Monopoly Man with the monocle. And I'm like, really, who cares? Behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. 
All I can say is thank you. Truly. Do you speak gobbledygook? Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. Ooh, I've always okay, had good. for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. They think of me like one of their own, you except twice as things. tall, oh, and tale, also they really. jeer at me. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. Oh, I bet that went well. The wizard well. happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. Oh, no. He picked it up, oh, went to no. Hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. There's some he direct parallels Ranrock that can be drawn death. here. Ever since Some very Ramrock easy direct parallels. Caesar's all as cruel. Anyway, enough about him. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Yeah. Ooh, a handcrafted necklace. That's nice. I mean, it looked it looked pretty, honestly, kind of lame on us, but uh, we appreciate it. All right, next quest. Just knock these out as much as we can. Fall of the Dead. A dragon debrief. That's a poppy quest. That's a natty quest. That's a Seb quest. Oh, in the shadow of the mine. Sure, why not? We're close to that anyway. As soon as we get out the dungeon here. Merrily jaunting our way outside of the dungeon. It's one of the few that hasn't warped us out right after, I'm surprised. Well, there's a lot more to it, other than what we've seen. There's also a troll here, should uh, any of you need troll bogies. Good to know. Oh, close to here. It's a thousand away. I'm stuck. We, w we won't speak of this, ever. Shall we mine some stuff that we can then use for crafting? Like Terraria. Good save, Tata. <laughs> Hello. I thought my owl might pique your interest. We're just gonna ignore the, the people going nuts over there. Oh, not even people. Really didn't do much to him. In fact, nothing is. Man needs to be burned up. Oh, 
Oh, rock to the face. Bye. Anywho, how we doing? You ready to talk yet? I think you're still in combat, technically. Yeah, because he's there. He didn't fall far enough. Blow that fucker the fuck up is what I did. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Not sure what I did to- I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. Yeah, thank you That's for incredible. figuring that out. We wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. He's like, buddy, we're in the wizarding world. Everything's manner. connected, always. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. You better remember it, buddy. Main character oh, man, it gets we sure don't. Ooh, there we go. There they are up ahead. You know things are gonna pop off. When we get the Final Fantasy VII remake filter, <laughs> that light green on everything. Jesus, you're not wrong. We got some level 32s, some 33s. <laughs> that one is so silly. I'm still technically in stealth. Yeah, that's wild, actually. Man, stealth in this game is actually kind of OP, but also really easy. And I, I like that, because not every game needs to be, you know, super difficult for stealth. I really should sell all this junk stuff, but I can't be asked. We're kind of kitted out in a way that we're not going to be finding much better stuff. At least, like, I would say, yeah, do it after the part, but during now, it's not going to matter much until we get to the next big story section, really. What's down there? This is going well. We make a good team. That looks like a whole area. For later, though. Because I'm sure if we get too far away, he'd be like, Oh, I'm casting no walk away a kiss, and you will die if you are away for ten seconds. Be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. <laughs> I know, Sam. I know. He's like, I just want to kill them all. And we're like, don't worry. We'll kill them after we petrify them. Oh yeah, he saw that. He didn't see nothing. Oh yeah, you don't even have to take, take it over, really. You can just get in here. Overlook mine. This mine looks rather spiderwebby. Yeah, it sure does. It sure does. For better or for worse, we're in. Well, that worked really well. Rather unwise coming back in ways. Man, we are just this mine brutalizing them. That should have been a thing, to get two of them down there at once. That should have been like an achievement or something. It's not enough that we're brutalizing the goblins. You want to turn it into a fucking arcade game as well. Yeah, I want to get like the big, like, rainbow, you know, perfect you get in Sonic Adventure 2 when you do cool stuff. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. <laughs> even the spiders are racist. <laughs> That's been a while since we've leveled up, I noticed. I wonder if uh, we'll be hitting one of those soon. Always COVID. 
just because I want to see if there's any, like, cool upgrades now that we got both a deadly curse as well as a, uh, you know, the, the transformation. How many are in here? <sighs> Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. That looks like a box that is right to the side of you that we could move towards it. Indeed so. Uh, talents. I have no things ready, but I will soon. Yeah, and then just raise that, raise that up if it's not high enough. But it is, we're good. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. At least we have someone providing some biting commentary on the existence of spiders. You're making our lives so much easier, Seb. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Just needed the right type of explosion to get in. Incendio. We could all get out here for the night. Just ignore the spiders. I would imagine the goblins use that as like their lunchroom. That bridge has seen better days. Do you want me to fix this? Repair. Oh. Yes. Quite explicitly. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, wow, the magic we're casting is powerful, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, we're a fifth year, not a first year. Hmm. Round arena area. The fuck are you? Venomous Guru. We're making quick incendio. Professor Hackett would be proud. She would at that. Ramlock's lawyers all declared war. Oh boy. Ha 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 More of them. How lovely. Shoot an igniter as it prepares to attack. Sorry, ignite a shooter, rather. Words. Do you know what that's called when you mix up two words like that? There's an official name for it. Is it the Chapsy Palace of yore? No, it's called a spoonerism. I'm no stranger to the spoonerisms. Nice. We will be the most killer of spiders ever. We'll get all those spider killer armors. We're gonna get the spider killing great sword and just turn this into Dark Souls. Ooh, that didn't even hurt you because you were too cool for it. The world was like, nah, blowing it up at your feet, you don't even take damage from that. Real annoying when they're just up there. Come on down. We want to beat you up. Ow. Ah, oh, no. Oh, looks like we've got spiders, too. They hate fire. Venomous Matriarch. What a good name. Says that there's there's like a whole thing about if you have a spider that's on fire and hit them, the, they explode apparently on death, which is pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Even if you know, getting that seems ultra specific. <laughs> but if it works, it works. Did 
didn't have to do that. I wanted to, though. See, I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking to myself, do spiders feel pain? Do they recognize that? Are their brains advanced enough to understand that concept? I feel like they have to. Yeah, if we could get some upgrades for our uh, Crucio there. You could see that being a very useful element of our kit. Cleared the room. You're not so bad, chap. For a Slytherin. Got him. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of banter while you're uh, on the field and whatnot. It's the only way you can get over the fact that you're they would absolutely be covered in spider guts right now, as well as probably gobble guts. And we all know which of those is worse, am I right, fellas? One of them washes out with water, the other one washes out with Nothing. It's on you forever. Can have a look Once the goblin blood's on your hands, there's no going back. That looks like a puzzle thing on the wall that you passed by. Ah. Uh, and then you probably have to hit the other one there. And then the last one is... Hmm. Oh, right there. You probably have to find a perfect spot between... Yeah, to hit all of them. Last one. Wasn't expecting that. There you go. You got it. Alright, so what did that open exactly? Uh, the door that's hidden behind the spider webs Always to your left. Ah. I saw a bit of movement there. Interesting. The world floated back to me as if in a watery haze. How long had I been unconscious? I only remember his eyes. Empty. Empty of sorrow, yes, but also... I recall feeling a sense of euphoria as I watched the pain vanish, but then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I neither feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it is not the Black Death. At least he is no longer in pain. Hmm. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel all this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found Ooh, something. Ooh, that's good. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Could it be the human skull that's in the center of the room? Check on Sebastian. You okay, bro? If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. <laughs> you might I recognize him from his silly hat. He's like, oh, I know the silly hat used. man. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Oh, yeah. Well, right here, huh? Shoutouts to that intelligent game design. And now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Triptych goes. Not there. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. That's me mum's house. Is, we're in for more trouble. 
I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. He's like, we should wait. Why? Because the ahead. world state hasn't advanced that? yet, and I want to get better equipment. A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Uh-oh. Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Uh-oh, we're getting into... <laughs> not all goblins. Hashtag not all goblins. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. I'll get over it. Ooh, my sister's cursed and it was all gobbos. You had a fight with your friend. Level up. I'll do just that, thank you very much. Dark arts, do it. Dark arts, let's do it. Yes. Uh, striking an enemy cursed by Crucio releases a projectile that curses a nearby enemy. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That sounds perfect for us. Uh, defeating a cursed enemy. Uh... Okay. That just sounds like incredible, because we're using this so much, and it just means free damage. You'll never believe what I've learned. Are you speaking to me now? What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret. Oh yeah, I guess we're, we're fine. He just needed to walk off, cool off, and now he's back. We're good. Teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Uh, why is it spelt like that? I regret using Crucio. Lemon. I agree. We did what we <laughs> had to. <laughs> I know the exact video you're talking about with the lemon. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. Oh. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We shouldn't say a word. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. It sure and does no feel more. like all of our alone. friends are entering the final stage of our relationships with I'm all of them at the same Ominous. time. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. Uh oh. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Oh. I, I saw it. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. Ooh, it's why they died. Don't say that, buddy. What happened to his parents? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their, Their brains got so big that they fell room. over, right? A defect uh, you work out at the library the sort of thing. With an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. 
That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. It is concerning. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. In the background cuts to Sebastian walking with the spell book, reading every word of it out loud. We good? Okay, where's that pointing to exactly? Uh, that's the point that we put on the map for the last mission there. That's Roland's tomb there. One of our custom things. Uh, I guess we could do one more before we uh, adjourn for the week. What do you fancy? I I mean, I like the word dragon. Dragon's jumping out at me. Yeah. The free broomsticks. You'd think we'd have a warp point right there, but oh well. <laughs> Again, you don't need to keep selling me on the idea of whatever. I think our thing is on the wrong one, yeah. Get rid of the purple before it sends us far, far away. Oh jeez, it's not the fucking purple. Uh, let's see, zoom in. I think if you just set another waypoint, then click on it again, it can go away. That's some modern game design stuff. They all work that way. Oh, it's like a fucking Christmas card, so it is. Alohomora. Ooh, now we can loot more houses. Yeah. Uh, okay, but but look at that chest. That's got to be something good in there. Really? Like that big silver chest? Hmm. Yeah, we can sell some stuff, I guess, since we're here. Scriven shafts, whatever the hell that is. Oh, it's just the cats, bro. Right? Here we go. This is what we need. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks. So if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Okay. I'll keep that purple one there because it could be better. You just see him shoveling all of this into a furnace. He's like, thank you very much. Good show. Good uh, show. Yes, indeed. Here's your money. Oh. You know, even in games with upgradable inventory amounts, if it ain't unlimited, it ain't enough. I mean, there are still more Merlin trials. I've, I've just done all the ones for the challenge. Yeah, and, and at, at that point, still. who cares aside from unless you're going to try and platinum the game, which I don't think that's something you're going to want to do, really. Well, not on fashion. camera, but, you know, I've enjoyed my time here in the world of not Harry Potter. Well, Harry Potter, but minus Harry Potter, so. It depends on kind of like... How bad is it to platinum? Like, I recently platinumed uh, Sonic Frontiers. That's a nice, easy one, actually. Yeah. Real nice, real easy. All right, what's up here in this foggy house? It's a little bit foggy. I heard a dig. Why is it so foggy? It is what is? Yeah, do you see the fog? That's weird. Is that what it's pointing at? I think it's probably just the, the chests nearby. I wish to climb. The children yearn to climb. Oh, I need to sneeze. 
That was indeed a sneeze, which will probably be cut out so our viewers will not actually hear it. I That is an exclusive sneeze for me. Of your involvement. What? Oh, that was you, Serona. About you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made a little practice. You know, you can have a seat. Pretty sure they won't mind. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. Oh, I no. Think the collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. Oh. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. Connection that with the main plot. This did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. Oh, exactly. The Imperious no. Curse's effect. I'm not sure if it works on animals though. was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Haven't we done enough for her? We should check on her. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Yeah, so do a run, Rook. Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock <laughs> Again, I really appreciate how this game just has Fig a explain a the plot to NPCs the button usually. Attack. It's a bit of a long story and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Which we, we well, absolutely have been telling everyone about it. What we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Off a puffs for I life. I press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Oh, is this just a talkie mission? It really was just a debrief. We're good. I guess we're good. So let's try something a little bit more substantial. Or might as well see if the other one is also just a quick, quick done one. The mum mum's the word. Gotta go to divination. I got it right one of these days. You think she's ever like divined students falling down the ladder to get to the classroom and just went lol lamau? So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Oh no. Your message oh, this is giving me vibes of being at a friend's house while the friend is arguing with mom. I don't like it. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. Oh. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But, 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 mother, but the butterbeer. My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. It's kind of hard to not meddle in the affairs of I people in class. this world, because if you don't, they're going to meddle with you anyways. You to listen to reason. Cut to her awkwardly climbing up the ladder. So frustrating. <laughs> they specifically cut away so she we didn't have to see that. To she called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. Oh. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. It would be a little bit weird to see a gazelle in the Scottish Highlands, I'm not gonna lie. 
Yeah, you would assume that it is lost Can from a zoo or something. Your animagus will take. Oh no, a person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. Actually, it's just because you it like because to eat grass sometimes. It's not that deep. Me. Also, Peter Pettigrew, lover of shit. That's why he becomes a rat. <laughs> just he's like, cover me in it. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. Terrifying. But it gets easier the more you do it. It's sort of like how if you've ever read um, and I must say, Animorphs, I yeah. uh, the way they describe the details of transforming is horrible. A different perspective. They released every single book of the Animorphs franchise for free to read online. The author was like, I want people to read it. It's every novel is free. It's online. That's awesome. Well, I mean, he must still be getting residuals. Uh, yes, but not enough and would rather uh, tell kids that war is hell and teach them, you know, all about that. It's real good. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. I used to collect them, but I never really read any from cover to cover. <laughs> now you can read them all, trust me. That's incredible. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. You're a bit too comfortable <laughs> in that gazelle form, chat. my dear. Especially it's me, Bob. It's who I am. Should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. Okay, that's <sighs> she reasonable. Claims that she has foreseen tragedy before. Couldn't you just immediately transform back if you were being poached and be like, "Yo, no, don't worry, I'm a human." <laughs> Don't want to traffic that. That's a much, much deeper hole you're going into. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. Have you ever I watched agree. What We Do in the Shadows? I never consider quitting. Even I watched, I think, season you one fully. The moment you discovered that Is that the one where uh, <laughs> uh, Laszlo turns into a bat and gets captured? Yes, 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 I see that one. That's a good one, yeah. <laughs> that was what immediately came to mind <laughs> when you mentioned her being captured. All the time. <laughs> Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. It did make my balls curl up. We good? Oh, oh. You're just, you're just deciding where to go? Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Oh. A uh, fall of the dead. Well, well, well. In the shadow of time. Ooh, that's a strong name, though. Let's finish off with this, and then we're all good. Mm-hmm. Big story mission. Alright, where is that exactly? I haven't even touched this area. That's clearly the end game. Oh, wait, where is it? What did it say on the, uh... Thing? Oh, there it is. Oh, I have to speak with Armit first. Yeah, as soon as they said, we need someone to speak gobbledygook, I'm like, oh, remember that, that guy, that kid was like, yeah, I speak gobbledygook. I'm pretty cool, I guess. Oh, he's in the tower over there. That's what was confusing me. Mmm, that makes sense. I think it was that, the astronomy wing there. Yeah, astronomy room is probably the closest one. That's where he'd be chilling most of the time, I suppose. Boy, sure does want you equipping better equipment, even though we literally don't need it. Where are we going? Dum to dum.
They're like, we modeled this whole area. We will make you go up here. You <laughs> must experience it. See him slide an ass first down the... Hello there. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. Is this where we learn that he's absolutely just lying out his ass? Uh, I sure hope so. To help. Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Have you never met a goblin? Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. Oh, so no. Actually conversing <laughs> He's going to say every speaker. slur. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. How well do you know gobbledygook? You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Ah, the classic Babar and gobbledygook. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Ah, well, all right. Gotta meet him near the mine entrance, which is probably kind of far. Oh, yeah, let's warp. <laughs> we ain't dealing with that. We ain't. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uncharted territory. Yeah, we're gonna have to just pick the closest one. I think it's in the village there. Interesting stuff. I just honestly want us to get there and him to start talking and just say so many things wrong that Lodgok's like, I'm not doing this with someone who has such hateful words in his soul. Look, I'm sorry, okay? How was I supposed to know that, like, dropping that one vow means your mother's a whore? <laughs> That's one of the things here in China where they have a couple words... Actually, their word that means that, as in sort of like when you're filling up text in something, like when you're speaking to someone, and you're just kind of like filling for dead air. You're saying like, you know, that, 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 that thing, right? How we say that in English. Uh -huh. Well, China has a word for that, too. Um, it's the exact same pronunciation as the N word. Um, and I hear that a lot. And every time my brain goes, uh oh. But no, it is super innocent, um, and this has actually come up in, uh, like, university classes and stuff where teachers have gotten in trouble Revenge. for bringing up that word, even though it literally just means, like, that in, in uh, Chinese. So that's fun. I, I think I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Interesting. The frick is a boffy? I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't think we should know. <laughs> Like, Abandoned Bothy sounds like a unique enemy in Xenoblade. <laughs> yes, it does, yeah. More balloons. Get them. Get them. We must pop these suckers. Why isn't a uh, broom lad contacted us? Aren't we based enough for the third upgrade yet? Whoa. Well, I mean, we've kind of done, like, every mission. Oh, there's a landing pad down there, too, after. Uh, I saw it. So I guess it is just, uh, just waiting for it. There's also a Merlin trial, but literally, who cares? Yep, uh, not for us. Not anymore. Yo, what's up? A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. 
Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Kinda did. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm also, he's like all powerful now. He's basically a goblin god. Or a godblin, if Damn you will. Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. Okay. What do you mean, repositories? It's a place where they have weed, boy. Oh, goblin weed. Metal. The most potent Ranrock kind. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. Yeah, if they're related to keepers, no doubt they've got to have, like, powerful relics in there. With goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. But then you came along, blasting my brethren to pieces, and I thought, there's a wizard I can trust. The way I saw you blow up my fellow goblins, I thought, maybe he has some good points. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Oh, Please yes, thank you. This is exactly what I wanted. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. Kind of sounds like I the uh, thing um, you, you used to talk to the big old I snake can. in God of War. Sir, oh, yeah. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? I want to just be we like, well, there's a height limit, you know, like a ride at Disney. Plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind, and I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. Can you tell me more about the door? What else should we know about the enchanted door? Yeah, the we door can sneak past most things fine, but what's this about a door? You. you and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Okay. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Head to the goblin mine. Let's fucking do this. I want the whole time Amit to just be like, Oh my god, I offended him. This is the worst. How will I live? Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? The door is looking at us. Very cool. Ah, uh, the mind's eye. That's a solid pun. I appreciate that. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. Yeah, I didn't actually realize we got to do a dungeon with this bloke, so uh, it's nice to have my expectations subverted. A goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this. Mm, I think I see what to do. For so I think device. we need. Fire. Ship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate incendiary. Interesting. About a big. Man, steam stuff is so cool. The world would have been better if Charles Babbage actually managed to make a computer with steam. Like, 
theoretically he made one, he made plans for one, but like it wasn't possible in our time, so we didn't actually get to use it. Alas. Interesting. Oh, hey. Thank you. We got a couple unidentified face items. I mean, we could just put them on our face and see what they are, but... But seeing one is something else I hear gobbos. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. Clever. This is a really nice looking place. Yeah, the the gold and the steamworks, it's pretty cool. Oh, I mean we gotta we got a combat challenge pop up, so it's totally fine to just blow them all up. <laughs> They're like, we need to be stealthy throughout this, and then when the combat challenge appeared, it's like, no, who cares? Actually, for real. I did try to be stealthy, just for the record, but I pressed the wrong button. It's fine. Again, who really cares if they give us the option to? It's honestly more fun to be brutal to these gobbles. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, Amit. You have my word. Oh, another door we gotta sneak through. What could it sneaking about? You'll see. Huh, but there are st st stairs up here. Yeah, we can check that out first. It's probably just a little area here. Oh, it's pretty much nothing. Or is it? It isn't. It is kind of funny. These are the exact same sort of puzzle doors that exist in Metroid Dread. Just, you know, solved slightly differently. Incendio! Now, has that changed anything? Oh, there's something to pull down. Rebellion. Oh. Oh, it's actually open now. I see. Do I need to blast this? Bombarda. Hell yeah. Oh, whole seven coins, heck yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that had a whole flourish about it. You know that's gotta be something good. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh, you are Let's take a look very much me. that archetype, we huh? Find any plans. Bound to be plans are a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. We steal some gobbo food. I feel like goblins would use a lot of spices. That's kind of what I get from them. Why is that, Tata? I kind of feel like if they're down here, they're kind of, you know, in the mines. You're not going to be getting much in terms of flavor. So you gotta, gotta spice it up. Make it real good. I'll be quiet. Yeah, definitely saw some HP bars, yeah. Ah, here they are. Make sure they're all facing different directions there. You will regret coming. <laughs> oh, come on. You What's ended that perfectly, thing? Adam say, you will regret coming. You just gotta play that that sound clip from the cyberpunk trailers. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? I don't know. Maybe a mecha goblin, a human reaper goblin. 
god, can we get like a PS1 style? Like, you know, how it was like there was Mecha Pac Man and stuff, and like in, in one of the Crash games, there's the big robot. Like, I want a big, dumb PS1 robot boss fight. <laughs> if I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. I mean, we were joking, but if, if it's actually like a mecha dragon, I will be very happy. I actually know what the uh, final boss is, and it's not that. That's all I'm going to say. Ah. Dang. But I think it's to Dallas. The end petrify the means. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That poor fucker. It's bad. And yeah, so yeah, you hit him now, and you're firing the bolts, like, through. That's awesome. And our curse also does damage to everyone. We are literally doing, like, a curse build. I mean, entirely unintentionally, really, but that's still super cool. <laughs> Just so many screams! Oh, we alerted some in the other room there, too. Wow, Amit was ready to guard even faced away. Amit keeps that fang on him. He's ready. Ooh, thank you, iframes. much worse another boiler this place is more complex than i had expected another schematic what are they going to build this mine is too small for whatever it is Places. obviously something large something big that's literally all he's given us so far it could be anything <laughs> yeah literally a rugged fedora Oh boy. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? There's no one else in here. Not a big deal. Ah, there's a staircase. I see it. I already have too many. We're so wigged out. Oh, I did see a little grate to run through. <laughs> they put these locks out here, thinking they would keep us out. We played Metroid. We crawl through the small spaces. Why can't Tanom crawl? Because he'd be too powerful. <gasps> a Christmas tree! Dang, you could totally just jack up your place with the Christmas trees if you want. Now that our grow op is done, we can replace them with Christmas trees. <laughs> right, so over here. Oh, there's a thing to pull. Revelio. Incendio. Pulley up to your right. Accio. Very satisfying. I really do not appreciate how we're moving towards like touch screens and stuff, because pulling levers and like physical things is so much better than just touching a screen. Yeah. Like, it's sort of like why I still like playing video games with a proper controller, even if I'm, like, playing it on my phone or something, like, I'll Bluetooth it, because it really does hit way different to actually physically have something to touch, as opposed to, like, you know, just rubbing the screen. I think there was a, there's actually an article I read recently that really went into that idea where they're like, oh, why don't cars just become, you know, like, touchscreen stuff? 
And the answer is so that people that are like, you know, maybe not the best at seeing don't have to worry about it. Which one is a resto momentum? Yeah, the big old stop hand. Ow. Rude. Stay in the air, you. Oh, does it have to be at the same time? Oh, I was wondering why it was going down. Yeah, so you probably have to do one on one and then do one on the other. Or like air combo one and arresto the other. That's a lot, but you got it. Who cares? We're good. Next up is bombardoing them when they're charging their magic. <laughs> it's such a good thing that their hideout is just completely full of a million things for us to throw at them. So it's a sentinel we have to do, so not this guy. We can just kill him. Nice! The ranger. I think we might have killed all the sentinels, so... No worries. I'd be, you know, more worried about these quests for it if it wasn't the fact that every mission had them. Like, so you could just do them, whatever. It's nice and easy, nice and chill. Indeed. We gotta set a thing on fire first, and then we can pull that switch. Well, maybe it's already on fire. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Well, can we just walk through that anyways? Just if we turn invisible? Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? My job is done. I must go. Ah, there it is. Right, what's that gonna open? Some red gloves. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Oh, like what Let's the underminer the had at the end of the Incredibles. Uh, yeah, kind of like that, Tada. Or you know, like the drills they use in real life to go through the tunnels. But no, it's the Incredibles, obviously. Exit the mine. Is there a shortcut out of here? Oh, we could just use this. What an absolutely lovely little shortcut that opened up when we did the puzzle. How nice. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I need a moment to catch. I'm shaking in my boots right now. Oh, don't be a jittery Jake. Come on. Ooh, look at this water and the light coming in. Alohomora. <laughs> just want to be like, oh, we're breaking and entering. I feel like such a bad boy. <laughs> it's like we're we're really just completely ruining his life right now. It's nice. Ah, a whooper statue. More stuff for me to sell, really. Yeah, pretty much. Although, before we go, we definitely want to identify those uh, rare equipment we got, because that one with the gold made a very special noise. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. Oh, that is back into the dungeon. No, it's not. Or no, it's not. Wow. For once, I was the one reading the map wrong. How dare you?
It happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. Hang on, one sec. Can we please talk about what um, can we please That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've <laughs> He's like, I hated it. I hated every second of it. Oh, like Why would you do this to me? Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. <laughs> goblin secrets. Someday. Without further ado, at you. I get it. Linguistic puns. I don't mind this guy. He's kind of silly. He reminds me of, like, Dan Habiki, and I appreciate that. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. Oh, you know it's an important so moment when it fades button. out into a more detailed cutscene. Set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear. Or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. Oh, that sounds like a thing she from the beginning of the game. Together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. Yeah, it's a you small world, you know. Research. Limited cast of characters. Know of we know container. everyone. <sighs> wow. What a coincidence. <laughs> she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill. It caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch. Yeah, you kind of have to go too. all in when your whole you MO is, you know, her? our people are better. I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. Giving them stands, quite literally, which is surprising. A part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journal. Well, that sounds like our next objective. The ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Meanwhile, you know, Amit's over there just puking his guts out after what just happened. <laughs> We're having this deep conversation. He's just wanting to, you know, write a letter to his mom being like, I can't believe what I had to do. Uh, it's all gobbledygook.
What a vista. Yeah. All right, folks, that'll do it for this week's installment of Hogwarts Legacy. We uh, did a bunch of missions, and we're one step closer I to... God, always the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> we did say that we wanted a new thing for our broom, and, well, he came in when we least expected it. Uh, okay, well, we'll see you all next time, where we continue to put a bit of a... Uh, uh, a sprint witch ourselves into Ranrock's plans. Hope you enjoyed the session. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.